this is Clint Holly from Well Made Music, and we're checking in on the Suma lathe that uh, Dave and I went and grabbed last summer from Suma Recording Studio in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, the lathe was original uh, paint uh, from 1959. Um, it had been exposed to the elements and a lot of oil and grease over the years. So there were portions of the finish that were not in very good shape. Uh, some paint was peeling off and the oil had gotten up underneath the finish and it was causing the um, it was causing the paint to permanently flake off. So what we decided to do is to strip the whole machine down, take the old wiring out of it and everything, and we're starting from a bare uh, bones situation at this point. Um, we stripped every single body panel and part off of the machine, and you can see them all kind of uh, piled up here. <laughs> it looks like a pile of junk, but I, I assure you that it's not. Um, if you're not familiar with the powder coating process, it's um, it's similar to painting, but it's uh, it's a little more durable and you can get a variety of finishes uh, in powder coating. Uh, they actually spray a powder onto the part and then they put it in an oven and they bake it. And it forms a very hard, uh, durable coating. It's usually used on industrial machinery and stuff like that. So we were excited to uh, take the machine to a local powder co coater called High Tech uh, Solutions and uh, they were great. Uh, we took it over there in November and we just picked up all the parts about a week and a half ago. Uh, so what you're seeing here uh, is a variety of pieces from the machine. You can see uh, this is the uh, main lathe base right here, often called the ZT part. Um, this was just bare metal. And so all of the pieces associated with the frame have been powder coated in this kind of industrial gray, all the support pieces and brackets and stuff like that. They're uh, this very smooth, uh, gray color. Um, the ones that you see here that are called, uh, this color was called avocado gold. And um, if you get real close to it, you can see that it not only does it have the light green tint, but you there's uh, streaks of gold color in there. And when it hits a certain light, it almost looks kind of bronze color. So we did that for all of the exterior body panels um, and trim. Even these decorative pieces that were on the front of the lathe. Um, you can see how nice these look now. They're pretty beautiful. And this is the front of, uh, you know, this piece right here will eventually go on the front of the machine like that. Um, a couple other colors that popped out into the uh, process. Uh, the pitch box in the base of the lathe got this beautiful kind of two-tone silver gray color uh you can see these this is the pitch box hood and base this is the main lathe base here this is cast iron and very very heavy um and then uh some other the other pieces that are significant the main lathe body got this great green vein color is what it was called and all of these colors are kind of an homage to the original Neumann colors. Uh, we tried to find some that were more exact matches and a lot of those colors were unfortunately out of production. So this is going to be like a hot rod. I almost wish I could do some pinstriping or something on it to make it look super cool. But all of these pieces you see uh, will bolt together and uh, the powder coating uh, was about four colors all in all. So uh, we're very excited to get all this back together and uh, keep watching our YouTube channel for more updates on the Simulade.